Hope this works this time. Guys, I've been trying to make this video. This is the third time now. I hope it works. Anyway, I wanted to show this recipe first. I had almost the whole video done earlier. Hope you can see it good enough to, you could pause it or something like that. And then today's prayer list and praise report. I'm going to do these probably in about three days unless someone's in like critical condition or uh, whatever. But, uh, you know, if they have a, a, an ongoing problem that they ask for prayer for. I hope the audio works on this right too. It's been off almost every video. I don't know what to do about it. And I can't keep making them over and over and over. So I don't know if it's YouTube or my phone or what, but I don't I don't know what to do about it. So anyway, uh, Jess Ann wants continued prayer for her. I haven't heard anything from her recently, except for a couple of day or two ago. Uh, Monica, she has the Graves disease. It affects your thyroid. Michael Murphy, there's still no word. I'm real worried about him. Uh, Judy Osborne is uh, Missy Crabtree's friend. She has the breast cancer. Um, Zach and his girlfriend, they have the the baby that they're going to have that has the Edwards syndrome. And they go Monday to see a specialist. Casey and Rebecca, that's their baby, is 22 weeks, and it is, their, the liver is developing outside the body, and they're going to see a specialist. Uh, Danny, Courtney's daddy, has been fighting aggressive cancer, and he'll find out some results of treatment soon. Freddie and Edna Sells, that's Melissa Perdue's mom and dad. Uh, well, da excuse me, Danny was Courtney's dad. I think I, I don't know if I said that or not, but Freddie and Edna Sells, Melissa Perdue's mom and dad, they both need prayer. Dad has a lot of different illnesses and her mom needs prayers too. The praise list is Jerry and Dylan. Jerry's legs are better and Dylan's doing good. April and David, April's better now and David's COPD is better. Joy Tucker, she's doing better now. I talk to her daily. Uh, Steve Adams, he's had an amazing recovery. I haven't had any update uh, since, I think, day before yesterday. But that's good. If it was worse, she would have contacted me. Um, Lee Henman, she's feeling better now. She got her infusion, and it'll probably help her after she gets over the side effects. And uh, now we'll do our Bible verses for today. And it is 1 Peter 2, 11 through 21. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers of heaven, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which shall be whole, glorify God in the day of visitation. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme, or unto governors as unto them that are sent to him by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God that with well ye doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men, as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Servants, be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the froward. For this is thankworthy, thankworthy if a man for conscience towards God endure grief, suffering wrongly. For what is it if, when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But if, when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with God. For even hereunto we were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Amen. Okay. Set that there. The playlist next. And then. There's Saturday. This is. Okay. Sorry guys, I don't know what, uh, I've got to find, um, 
here they are okay here's our devotional for today it's called quiet witness Amy lives in a closed country where it's forbidden to preach the gospel. She's a trained nurse who works in a big hospital caring for newborn babies. She's such a committed professional that her work stands out, and many women are curious about her. They are moved to ask her questions in private. It's then that Amy shares about her Savior openly. Because of her good work, some co-workers were envious and accused her of stealing some medicine. Her superiors didn't believe them, and authorities eventually found the culprit. This episode led some of her fellow nurses to ask about her faith. Her example reminds me of what Peter says, Dear friends, be careful to live properly among your unbelieving neighbors. Then, even if they accuse you of doing wrong, they will see your honorable behavior and they will give honor to God. Our everyday lives at home and our work environment or at school make, us, make an impact on others when we let God work in us. We're surrounded by people who are watching the way we speak and behave. Let's depend on God and have Him rule our actions and thoughts. Then will influence those who don't believe, and this may lead some of them to turn in faith to Jesus. All right. Father, help me to live in such a way that, that your name will be honored wherever I go. Lord, I pray for all these people, even the ones on the pray list, daily in my personal prayers. But I want to start including them in my prayers on here. I want to pray for each and every one of them. To, to get better, whichever their problem is, and for everyone on the prayer list to have continued well-being. And Lord, in my praying, man. Okay, guys. That's the... Now we have the jokes of the day. All right, here we go. Question. What did the judge say when the skunk walked into the courtroom? Answer. Odor in the court. <laughs> Odor. <laughs> okay, question. What did the blanket say to the bed? Answer. Don't worry, I've got you covered. <laughs> what did the elder chimney, chimney say to the younger chimney? You're too young to smoke. And by the way, I quit smoking when I went in the hospital. It's been about 24 days or something like that now, and I'm doing, I'm doing fine. Okay. I changed all my passwords to incorrect so that whenever I forget, it will tell me your password is incorrect. <laughs> That's what I need. I have the worst time with, with passwords. Okay, question. Did you hear about the crook who stole a calendar? Answer. He got 12 months. <laughs> That's pretty pretty stiff fine for a calendar. I mean, well, maybe he's had previous things. <laughs> okay. Uh, chocolate comes from cocoa, which is a tree. That makes it a plant. Therefore, chocolate is salad. <laughs> Okay, here's here's bonus question. Everybody likes these jokes. So I'll do another bonus question. I mean a joke. Okay, who says nothing is impossible? I've been doing nothing for years. <laughs> oh Lord, that's a good one. That's so true. I got a little mini show and tell here. I keep finding stuff that uh, just sent it sent us all over the place, and this was on my refrigerator. But this is a little, it's a shamrock, it's a real shamrock. It's got a little saying, I hope you can see it there. If not, it says, for each petal on the shamrock, this brings a wish your way. Good health, good luck, and happiness for each and every day. And that's the back of it there. It's, it's pretty cool, I like that. I really like it. These are magnets. That's why they were on the refrigerator. I don't know if you, I doubt you could have seen them behind me. Here's one. Bless this home. It's got the little shamrocks and stuff on it. And this one, after a good dinner, one can forgive anybody, even one's own relations. <laughs> Okay, 
It looks like there's a little glare on there. I don't know. I'll get over this way. That's that one. And this one says, Irish stew to your good health. Those are all magnets. They're really cool. I just wanted to include that, everybody. That was really sweet of her, everything she sent. And I, we sure do appreciate it. Um, that's about it for now. Like I said, I'll bet you that I wouldn't doubt that the audio is going to be messed up on this too. I don't understand it. Like I said, I, if I can find a way to take care of it, I will. But YouTube's been messing up for me a lot. Like I said, this is the third time I did this video and I got almost all the way last time and it just quit. And the, it said the app was closed or close app or something like that, that they weren't responding. So it's really aggravating sometimes and I can see how how it's hard for people to get things done if it's messing up. So anyway, I just want to tell everybody to please, please press like. If you haven't subscribed, please just subscribe. Press that notification button so you'll you'll get my new videos when they come out. I mean, you'll get them, but it'll notify you if they come out. And share. I, I have 80 subscribers, and when I get to 100, I'll do a live chat. And um, so help me get subscribers, y'all, and we'll do it. Everybody have a good day, and God bless.